Well, it's the last day of the season for Jason and I, but the snow is coming. The snow is here. It's time to go. Down. Touchdown. All right, it's so the next day after the blast. We're tagged in. I'm gonna get the vent bag running, turn the ventilation on. I'm gonna head in, scale, wash down the back and see how it went. On my way up, I'd show you, we're pretty much at the end of our season. So we are bringing ore out of the mine. Unfortunately, we did not hit the raise this season. So we're still having to bring bags down the old way, but it is still worth it. This is some really, really good ore. I mean, really good. And, and when, in fact, some of the mucking we did, uh, there was a lot of ore still in the waste, but it just wasn't worth the time to pick through it so we could keep moving forward. But this is coming out of the mine. Ready to transfer away. More bags in various stages of transport. I'm looking forward to seeing the face after the blast from yesterday. The muck pile is gonna be fun, but this is something else that's cool. It's this uh, white moldy stuff, kinda shimmers. There's water all over it. I think that's really cool looking. One of the little wonders of underground things growing. Got a bit more of it up there. And the bag needs to be fully put back in place. It got knocked out of the way. All right, we got the vent bag running. Because you have to have ventilation in the working area. I'll let that do its thing for a little bit and then we'll start scaling down and washing down. I'm surprised how much this airs out on its own. Yeah, we got good natural ventilation here. It's nice, we don't see big rocks in our uh, haulage here. So it looks like most of the blast is contained inside of our new heading, which is good news. It sucks spending the first half hour, hour cleaning up the working area just to get to the entrance to the workings. It looks like it's all back there now. All right, Chad, this one's for you, bud. Um, this is more about where our burn is, and uh, we hit a slip. What did you say, Jason? About six inches um, past the... Uh, we went into it, we had about six inches left or so. Yeah, yeah, right at the back of the round. And so what happened was, is when this center burn went, it appears that all the info was cut off by the shock of the first number one. And you can see all the shock tubes mangled right here in the slip. So FYI, if we ever hit a slip, we're going to have to uh, stem or do something until the slip so that we don't get cut off. Because it pretty much screwed up the entire round. So Jason and I came back, we redid uh, the holes in the center burn. Now we gotta come back out and, and finish off the rest of this thing.
belt. I'm just pulling along. There's no weight. I wonder if you can pull it down the track. Yeah, I might try. Wait it. Just do that. Let me try to see if I can pull it. But I won't be able to control the speed though. I might as well push it. Yeah, that's true. Hope you had fun on that one. Man, I remember last year, by the time you got to here, you were dying. Yeah, you were done last year. But this isn't so bad. No. I mean, I'm not even breathing hard. Nope. Don't hit Jason. Yeah. have a couple more days here and we have brought down many many sandbags hundreds and hundreds of bags uh, Jason's turn on top of the rays I'm down here catching them putting them on the cart we'll have him send one down here I'm gonna take him out of here. Throw him on the cart. Up! And then up to where the bag goes. And then it's snagged. Hold on! Of course, it snags right when I pull the camera out. You guys always get the mistakes. All right. I think we're going to bring the drill down the raids there tomorrow using the chute. We're going to use the chute. All right, there's six. Four more.
on the first step of every morning, the most important step is making coffee. Nothing happens until we make coffee. And last year, Chad and I stayed in a tent, or tent camping and hotels on the weekends. Uh, this time I've upgraded to a truck slide in camper. So I got a nice kitchen. We've got we got an air conditioner. Nice place to eat, hang out. We're not using the woods like a bear anymore. They got shower, hot water, and then a big queen size bed. So we've got it made. Yeah. So this is probably the most comfortable um, I've ever been on a mining trip. So I got a heater. Turn the heater on. Get warmed up. Get dressed. Go to work. So we wear extra tough steel toe boots. And uh, one of the things I learned commercial fishing is to get these things called Bama socks. B-A-M-A. -A. Uh, they go over your socks like normal. Uh, but they keep your feet super dry, super warm. And if you get a few pair of those, you can rotate through those each day. So you always have a nice, clean, dry pair to put on. And you gotta keep your gloves dry. So I got a little space heater here. And I usually leave the pilot light on and that's enough to keep my... Uh, I dry out my clothes for the next day, my my rain pants or whatever. And then of course the most important thing of all since I have power is the Alaska boot dryer. Um, I have not gone to work with wet feet once uh, the two months I've been working up here. So uh, if you want to have dry feet, I highly encourage you to get the Alaska boot dryer. It is a game changer. This is where I make stemming. So that's it. That and the masking tape, and this is how I make the stemming that I showed you earlier uh, in the season. So that's it. Well, it's the last day of the season for Jason and I. Never mind the generator. But the snow is coming. I'll get a better shot of this when uh, the sun comes up, but the snow is here. It's time to go. Well, it looks like we're starting to get snow. That's uh probably about a thousand feet higher than our altitude that we're working but snow is getting closer all right we are done for the season this is our last day we are closing off the heading we got all of our tools out but I want to show you where we left off and where uh, we're gonna have to pick up next year on the work we got all the bags out no bags and we have this giant waste pile that we get to muck next year before we start drilling and blasting on our heading we have gone 24 feet and we have about 18 feet left if I, my memory serves me right so this is it this is uh what we shot three times so last time I showed you the face um all of our all of our holes were cut off by the number one so now that we've fixed that um we're ready to go next year we'll show you what we're doing the rest of the day here and if there's time we'll wash the face all right we got jason carrying carrying out our equipment i'm doing my job here yeah you're seeing the how the sausage gets made yeah this is uh all of our equipment in the transfer way about to go down the raise and then uh 
Then it's bag time. All right, what do we got going on down here? We are at the bottom of the rays. We have our drills, our legs, airline, water line, everything. We need to mine is on these two carts. Our D moment for the season, last leg out to the truck. It's been a great season. I've had a lot of fun. We made a lot of good progress. Can't wait till next season. Hopefully you'll be back, Harry. Yep. So we got lots of stuff to come. But right now we gotta get out of here before the snow flies. Jason's ass cam. Yeah, we got the Jason ass cam on. Jason's ass cam. Take one. <laughs> at least you don't have a, a water spot right where your ass is. It doesn't look like you fished your pants. Yeah, I got it. Got it? Yeah, we're in business. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. For some reason, the big wheels don't like that spot. this. Down. Well, this is the last cart load out of the rays, out of the stope. And we got all the bags out of the stope down to the haulage level. Now it's uh, one cart load at a time to the truck. All these bags. 
I think uh, we figured somewhere around 10 tons. 10 tons of bags. Right. Jason's up there playing with the pulleys. We're taking apart the, the bucket system because we're never going to use that again. Next year we'll be in the new rays. Well, we said that last year, but next year. This shoot would just be for getting equipment up now. This is how dark it is in here. That's how dark it is in here. And I kind of like filming with just a headlight. So you can kind of experience what we experience in the lighting. I know it kind of makes it tough to see what's going on, but I think it's cool. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Well, I guess my GoPro decided to start recording now. Good. The recording GoPro in my bag. Off. <laughs> yeah, I guess you turned yourself on. Well, you're... GoPro, turn off. GoPro off. GoPro, stop recording.